I made a video last week about a 1500 calorie weight gainer shake. And somebody suggested putting raw eggs into this shake. Actually, a lot of people suggested that. They said, yeah, if you put a bunch of raw eggs in that, that'll add a bunch of extra protein. And they would go so far as to say raw eggs are better than cooked eggs. And there are two problems with that. There's one problem which you're probably thinking about, which is a potential food poisoning from salmonella, which is a possibility, but that's not even the major issue here. Well, I guess it could be because that could kill you. Food poisoning can actually kill you, right? But the underlying issue that you're probably not thinking about is the fact that a raw egg only gives you a fraction of the potential nutrition from the egg. Did you know we actually have to cook our food? We have to pre-digest our food with cooking in order to maximize the nutritional extraction that we get from our food. Let me put that into perspective. An egg, a cooked egg, if we boil that egg, or scramble that egg, or fry that egg, has about six grams of protein that our body is able to digest and use and assimilate. But if you eat that same egg raw, you get two, maybe three tops. You get less than half the protein if you don't cook it and a lot less than half of the other nutrients. Why is it that cooking food increases the bioavailability of nutrients? If you take a raw potato, for example, and you eat that raw potato, it's going to taste like garbage, but also it's going to exit the body in much the same form as it went in. It'll be all mushed up. It's going to smell bad, but at a molecular level, it hasn't changed because you haven't digested it. Because humans can't digest cellulose. Unless we cook it. So before we cook that potato, it's a bunch of undigestible starch and cellulose. But suddenly, when we apply heat, when we cook it, something magical happens. It turns into a bunch of absorbable, usable, burnable car carbohydrates. There's even some protein in there, a little bit. And there are a bunch of nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. But if we don't cook it, none of that is bioavailable. And that's true with most foods. I had a question a while back, a number of years ago. Somebody asked me, what do you think about the raw food diet? And I said, well, in the long term, it'll kill you. And they were shocked. What? But it's so healthy. Everybody's like, I'm losing a bunch of weight on a raw food diet. Of course, you're losing weight on a raw food diet. You're slowly starving to death. I keep seeing these well-intentioned vegan memes on the internet. Bless the hearts of my vegan friends trying to save the animals. But guys, please, please... At least make your memes, at least make your propaganda intellectually honest. So I keep seeing these memes about gorillas. Saying something along the lines of gorillas are really strong. And gorillas don't eat meat. They actually do. That was proven in a 1996 study from the Jane Goodall Institute. They eat a small amount of meat, generally monkeys and small mammals and insects and things like that, but mostly herbivorous. But the memes go like this. Gorillas eat vegetables. They eat plants, right? And they're big and strong. So if humans eat plants like gorillas, they'll get big and strong too. And here's where the intellectual dishonesty comes in. That's not how it works. Humans have a radically different digestive system than apes. I should say the greater apes. I should say than gorillas. Because humans are technically apes. Technically. Gorillas have a very large gut. A gorilla eats, they have to eat at least 
30 pounds of leaves and stems and vegetation every single day. A human cannot fit 30 pounds of food in our gut. We can fit about one, maybe two if we're a really big guy. So the average person, one pound of food in our stomach, that's what it holds. So in order to get the same nutrition as a gorilla, and we need, we actually do need about the same amount of nutrition as a gorilla gets, but we can't get it from leaves and stems and raw vegetation like they can, because their digestive system can digest leaves and stems and raw vegetation. Ours can't. We can put it in our mouth, chew it up and swallow it, but it doesn't digest properly. It doesn't, we don't get the nutrients from it. Not like a gorilla does, not like a cow does. We can't convert the, that cellulose into protein like they do. So what do we have to do? We actually have to cook that food. We have to pre-digest it. We have to eat different things than they do. And look at the most hardcore vegan athletes out there. They are not eating raw vegetation. They are not eating leaves and stems. They're eating a diet, a varied diet, that involves a lot of cooked food. Grains, legumes, lentils, beans. The most high concentration of protein that you will find in plants. That's what they're eating. Gorillas don't eat that stuff. They don't. They can't. It's not available to them. So yeah, going back to raw eggs. Something about that movie Rocky. It was a cool movie. But for some reason, when we saw Rocky chug down a blender full of raw eggs, for some reason, a lot of us thought, oh, this is a documentary rather than a fictitious movie about a fictitious boxer. A lot of us thought that was real. The tough guys need to drink raw eggs. Well, guess what? If you cook those eggs, you'll be a tougher guy because one, you won't get salmonella poisoning and two, you'll get over twice the protein and twice the other nutrients from those eggs. So cook your eggs, man. Otherwise, you're cheating yourself out of at least half the meal. Next question. 